Hi, I'm Freetime Coder, and I've just figured out how to sample density or like layer info from landscape. So what I've done here is I essentially made a simple scatter, and then I mask the scatter points by the ground landscape layer. And if I take any other layer, like the river one, and paint, they just slowly disappear, and also in reverse, and they reappear. Um, so yeah, I've made a simple graph, which is sort of the basic scatter stuff that has been shown in the other videos with the difference that there's a sample landscape node, which is a custom blueprint node, and I'm going to go into that in a second. But what it does, it gives each of the points a density based on how much layer weight of a certain like given layer is, is beneath it. Uh, and you can specify the layer and the layer variable. Variable. Uh, so yeah, open the landscape, the sample one, and it's essentially the same or very similar setup to the custom node I've shown before. Uh, one big difference is, I guess, that um, I take the target actor of the spatial data and store it. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this target actor comes from. Um, or what its use is. I imagine it's kind of the actor that this operation is working on, so be it the PCG volume actor or the uh, owning blueprint or maybe also the um, word petition actor, I'm not quite sure. Yes, um, I haven't figured it out, but this is sort of how other nodes from Unreal do it, so it just, you know, did that as well. And then in the point loop, so this is the thing we just go over all the points. Um, I use a method that comes with PCG and it's actually just called get interpolated PCG landscape layer weights. And you pass it in a world context object and it actually auto detects the landscape itself. So I've checked the um, C++ code and it looks like it gets the landscape essentially straight from the PCG system. So there's no need to actually plug in the proper landscape, it's just, you know, some actor. Uh, and then the location of the point, and it returns all the layers and their weight at that point. So I'm gonna, re I'm iterating through all the layers and check uh, which name matches the given layer. And then if the name that I'm given it, so in, in um, this one I said ground, and if it matches ground, then it sets the density of that point in that loop. And if I find no um, points that match, then I set the density to zero and return the point as well. And that's how you get this sort of gradient. And the cool thing is I found out it sort of updates in real time if you set the um, PCG to regenerate on demand. So um, yeah, you can actually mostly real time uh, work with this. And that's how you sample landscape layers. And I hope that's helpful because I know a lot of you were requesting this. Um, and as of half an hour ago, I know how to do it. And now you know too. So bye.